five, six, seven. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Five, six, seven. You're rushing. Here we go. Uh, ready? Okay. Five, six, and. Dragging just a hair. Wait for my cue. Five, six, seven. Rushing. Five, six, and. Dragging. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? I, I don't know. Sure you do. The tempo? Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. Start counting. Five, six, seven. In four, damn it! Look at me! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? I don't know. Count again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference! What's up, guys? Welcome back. Let's talk Whiplash. So now that the Oscar nominees are announced, I can now know what movies I need to watch before the big day. So Whiplash is definitely one of them, and I saw it before the nominees were announced, but I knew it was going to be nominated. So, um, yeah. I mean, it, this movie was intense. Like, seriously. So yeah, I didn't know much about this movie. I mean, I heard a lot of people talking about it and saying that I should go see it, so I finally saw it. And usually that's, that's unlike me because I watch every trailer for everything, and I know everything that's coming out. Uh, this is coming from the guy that uh, went to see Sherlock Holmes' Game of Shadows just to see the Dark Knight Rises trailer, and then I proceeded to leave the theater. But... That's alright, because I was really stoked to see Batman. Writer-director Damien Chazelle couldn't get funding for the film, so it started out as a short, and after it got such high acclaim at Sundance, it was then picked up to be featured for a uh, full-length film. So Whiplash stars J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller. They're basically the two frontrunners in this entire film, and it's basically carried by those two. Teller plays a student at a prestigious music school, and he doesn't want to just make a career out of being a drummer. He wants to be one of the all-time greats. The only thing standing in his way of becoming great is J.K. Simmons' character, Fletcher. It starts out, you think that Fletcher is going to be grooming um, Teller's character, Andrew, into a prodigy, but that soon turns crazy when Fletcher goes absolutely nuts. He becomes this drill sergeant, barking orders, and he, he's, he's this haunting presence, and he basically makes Andrew's life a living misery. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about spoilers, so if you don't wanna be spoiled by the film and what I'm gonna say, uh, I'll leave a banner up and then you can skip ahead and go to the end and then um, I'll give what was great about the film and I'll give my final grade. So if you don't want to be spoiled, go ahead and skip ahead right now. Right from the get-go, the film establishes Simmons' complete narcissistic nature. It opens with his drum beat over black and that leads way into Andrew in this room practicing his drums and he's, he's drumming away trying to get better. And then you see this guy come in and interrupt him and he's clapping to the tempo of his beats. So later on, after after finally realizing what not quite my tempo, what Simmons says later in the film, you really know what that means when you go back and, and know what happens in the beginning, because he's clapping to Andrew's beats, and he's establishing to see if he can actually keep the tempo of the drums, because that is what drives Simmons' character, just this, this tempo of his drums. I mean, Whiplash really makes you feel like you're in a concert hall, which I thought was really cool, because I don't know a lot about music, but watching the film, you kind of you learn a little bit more. And when you're watching Andrew's first performance, you're, you're on the edge of your seat because you wonder if he's playing well or not. Uh, I thought he sounded amazing, but I guess it wasn't to the standards of the school. And that's something really cool if you don't have a lot of knowledge about tempo or reading music. When this happens, it's, it's really intense because you're kind, of, you're kind of a little confused. You feel like you're in the dark about what's gonna happen. Andrew finally proves himself to Fletcher 
and he's racing to basically the performance of his life. He's late, and he's, he's driving this rental car trying to get there on time so Fletcher won't completely screw him over and have someone else do his, his uh, part. He gets in this accident, and this truck just completely nails him. And honestly, you, you think he might be dead. But what happens is he slowly wakes up out of, out of this daze and he looks over at the clock. And just by that alone, it makes you think about what is really important to Andrew. His music and being a legend is way more important than his own life. And it really makes you think about what really is important in our lives. Why do we care more about our career goals and our aspirations than we do about family and friends and things like that? I thought that was really cool how the, how the film focused on that. I mean, I think Teller should have been considered for at least some kind of award, but I think just because Simmons' performance was so strong, that's really why he is overshadowed completely. I mean, you really, you really are scared for Andrew. I mean, this, this guy who's supposed to be a teacher, you, you actually fear for Andrew's life. Is this guy going to actually be responsible for Andrew's death? I mean, it, it's... It goes way past music. It's it's amazing how this movie does this. And I think that Fletcher's character complements Andrew's father really well. It's kind of like this devil and angel on your shoulder complex. I mean, Andrew's dad just wants him to be happy, but Fletcher doesn't care about happiness. He, he cares about his band and the integrity of what he's trying to achieve. I mean, you, you never really know what his intentions are. At, at some points you think, you know, maybe he's a really good guy. Maybe he's just... He's just teaching these kids to be great, and what it means to be great, you have to hammer away and kind of dig these people down, but I don't really think that's what it's all about. I mean, he kind of is somewhat of a mystery. You don't really know what he's all about. And I think when an actor can really make you hate a certain character, I mean, then you know it's an amazing performance. I mean, for Game of Thrones fans, how good is Joffrey? I mean, he's so good. You love to hate him. He's such a good actor because you hate that character so much. I mean, I would absolutely be shocked if Simmons doesn't win Best Supporting Actor. I mean, he won the Golden Globe for it, but he's definitely a lock. So here's what I thought worked about the movie. Simmons' performance was amazing. I mean, it's just unmatched. So I really like the rhythm and pacing of the film. It's really similar to that of a concert. If you go see a concert, it doesn't just go crazy from the beginning. You know, it slowly builds, gets a climax, and then kind of fades away a little bit. And I thought that's what the movie did really well. It was absolutely intense throughout the entire movie. I really like the tone and the dark colors and where they practice the 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 wood and, and the, uh, the classrooms are really dark and haunting. So the ending was a little abrupt, but I think that's actually a positive because it left you wanting more, but at the same time it ended in such a perfect way that if you saw any more, it probably would have lessened the effect of, of what the movie was trying to achieve. And what didn't work, I didn't really like Andrew's love story that much. I thought it was a little weak. Kind of seemed out of place a little bit. I think they could have maybe done a little bit more, made that a little stronger and more meaningful to him as a character and his uh, progress throughout the school. But, you know, overall, it, it I had nothing but good things to say about this movie. So yeah, guys, go see Whiplash. I mean, it was it was amazing. I mean, I still want Imitation Game to win Best Picture, but I wouldn't be disappointed if Whiplash won. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my review for Whiplash. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter, and I'll get the next review out for you very soon. So enjoy movie watching. Talk to you soon.